Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I hope you're having a great day today. I'm Father Steve Sellers, and thank you for joining me today on my YouTube channel for this brief daily message of hope and inspiration. And I really do hope that your day is off to a good start, and I hope I can help you out a little bit if it's not, and maybe you can help me out a little bit too. Uh, we're coming out of this... Uh, uh, quarantine we've been in for quite some time now and and the people are getting back into the swing of things and uh, it's clear that it's awkward for everyone uh, it's uh, people who go into stores people who run the stores uh, people who get out and drive for the first time in traffic and uh, a month or so uh, it's difficult for everyone and uh, we need to have joy in our hearts uh, because when there is joy deep inside us it is joy that comes out of our mouth Conversely, if it's anger and confusion and pain in our heart, that's what usually comes out of our mouth. And that's basically what I want to talk to you just briefly about today. And this is my message of, message of hope. It is crucial for us to ask God to give us his joy. Uh, Jesus is with us every minute and wants us to ask. I don't understand why God does, doesn't just hit us over the head and make us do things except for the fact that he created us in his image and he wants us to be able to freely choose him and his way. Uh, and that's a great risk for God because we often do not choose his way or his words. Um, and so uh, as we're gathering energy to get back into the world, take a moment, breathe, relax, ask God to, to give you his great sense of joy that he has through his son Jesus so that the words we say to each other uh, will reflect the joy of the Lord and not our own pain and confusion. Uh, we're here for a reason and a purpose, and it's to, to build each other up, not tear each other down. And I made the mistake yesterday of watching too much of uh, uh, the news programs on TV, and I heard anger and wrath and confusion and pain coming out of people's mouths, which tells me that's what's in their heart. And that's tragic because it's not necessary. We have a God who loves us, who's with us all the time, who wants us to give us the best that he has. And I wanted to share a couple of words from scripture today uh, as I'm building myself up in joy today and hope and love. I was uh, reading again in the New Testament uh, from uh, the book of uh, Ephesians this time. And I... Uh, Listening to the words of St. Paul, you know, who uh, gives us a long list of the, the hardships that he suffered for his faith. You know, we wonder why we go through difficult things when we have goodness in our hearts. Well, God is building us up for greatness. And uh, just like great athletes, we have to push and be pushed. And we need good teachers. And we have the best teacher in the Lord Jesus. He's leading us into strengthening us for his service. And as part of that, he tells St. Paul, who knows a lot about suffering, uh, read over in 2 Corinthians the list of things that happened to him, you know, including being beaten with rods and flogged and uh, stoned once and uh, you know, shipwrecked and, and treated harshly wherever he was. Uh, uh, Paul's talking, I'm reading in uh, Ephesians chapter 4, starting at verse 29, where Paul says this, to the Ephesians, his church in Ephesus, and also to us. Do not let, let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths. Now that word for unwholesome is sapros in Greek, and it means rotten, dirty. So do not let any rotten, dirty, unwholesome, corrupt, bad, evil, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful 
for building others up according to their, their needs, that it may benefit those who listen and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Our challenge today is to, to get rid of the stuff that's in us that pulls us down because it's going to pull others down too. Ask for the joy of the Lord. Ask for the peace that passes all understanding and let it come into your hearts. Let God embrace you and hold you fast uh, so that what you feel inside of you comes out of your mouth and lifts others up. And just know that is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus, his son. Have a blessed day today. God bless you.